Um, all right, so first, you tell me when you're ready. Um, we're good to go. Okay, so uh, there are 12 cranial nerves, and the exits are here, 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 and here, and even there. So lots of little exits in the, uh, in the skull. There are 12 cranial nerves, 24 holes, right? Mm -hmm. So um, the very first one is going to be here, cribriform plate, okay, olfactory nerve. And it goes right through on either side of the crystal crystal galley, okay. The next one, two, two is the optic canal, okay. Optic canal goes in there, comes out through there, okay. And it's just the optic nerve and that's it, okay. The next one down is through here, okay, which is the superior orbital fissure. The superior orbital fissure is a big damn hole. All big damn holes get at least three nerves. This one gets four, or at least three and a third, okay? Because it gets four, five, uh, sorry, three, four, five, and six. So three, oculomotor. Helps you move those eyes in the cardinal directions, right? Mm -hmm. Four, trochlear, right? Helps you bring your eyes in and down. Then five, but not all of five, just the first part of five, Roman numeral five, V1, right? Which is the ophthalmic, okay? And then the last one, six, abducens nerve. Now the abducens nerve actually comes off of the brain way back here, okay, because it's kind of a four, four, and four thing. You got four that come off the midbrain, four that come off the, um, the pons, and four that come off the medulla, right? Mm -hmm. So it actually comes off right back here, which is really interesting because that means that it, while it leaves the brain here, it actually doesn't leave the skull until here up underneath there in the superior orbital fissure, which means six has the longest track of any nerve under the dura, which is why when they get hit in the head, they do, hey, follow my finger. They're not looking for nystagmus. Mm -hmm. They're looking for whether you can bring your eye all the way to the outside, because that would be increased intracranial pressure on one side, an epidural hematoma pressing on your nerve, okay? So that's three, four, five, and six, right? Now, the rest of five are here and here, so that's five and five. Foramen rotundum is V2, okay? It goes into the maxilla and comes out here, okay? And then, V3 goes out here, it's both motor and sensory, and goes down here um, through the foramen oval. And the foramen oval, as it comes out right there, you can see a little spike, the foramen oval is V3, which is mandibular. mandibular branch. And the thing is, is that, see right next to it is this other little hole called the foramen spinosum. Now nothing comes out through the frame and spinosum, something goes in through the frame and spinosum, and you can see in the frame and spinosum here that it actually is where the middle meningeal artery, the first branch off the maxillary artery, comes and runs up the side of the skull on the inside, and this is the one that you crack if you crack your skull and you get an epidural hematoma. Epidural hematomas are always arterial, right? Mm -hmm. Subdural hematomas are venous, mm -hmm. okay? So that was all of now six, right? We did five and five. We already did six. And so then there's this hole, the big hole going right through the middle, which is actually no hole. What this is is a track over where the uh, carotid artery, yeah. the internal portion of the carotid artery, comes in here, goes across there. This is artificial. This is actually covered up with cartilage, okay? Bone on this side. And then that big hole is covered up with cartilage. So, but it is the spot where you end up getting the sympathetics coming off of the carotid artery usually to go forward into the maxilla. So this hole right here is seven and eight, okay? And it's called the internal acoustic meatus. Now this one out here is called the external auditory foramen, right? Mm -hmm. This is internal acoustic. And it's because the vestibulocochlear nerve used to be called the acoustic. Mm -hmm. And they changed the name of the nerve, but not the name of the foramen, <laughs> okay? So this is two, seven and eight, facial, right? Which is movement of the face and also taste and stuff like that. But the vestibular cochlear is also in there. It's right here underneath all this good stuff. That's where the cochlea is. It's under the petrous portion of the temporal bone right here. Now that's ba balance and hearing, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the clinical correlation is people who end up with really bad Bell's palsy, which is an infection of the canal, can end up getting not only uh, facial paralysis, but they can also get hearing loss. Okay, or hyperacusis, where they hear really loud out of that side because the nerve is irritated in the canal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was seven and eight. Here is another big damn hole, right? All big damn holes get three nerves. And this is the jugular foramen, okay? The jugular foramen then is nine, 10, and 11. Nine, glossopharyngeal, mm -hmm. 10, vagus, 11, 
is a accessory. 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 So the spinal accessory nerve. And they all go out through that big, huge hole. And then the next one is actually here. And it's easier to see from underneath right there. And that's 12, right? Mm -hmm. And that is actually the hypoglossal. hypoglossal canal, 12, right? So hypoglossal canal goes right through the condyles, okay, that your brain, that your skull sits on, on top of your spinal column. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one through 12 and how they exit. What nerve exits through there? What cranial nerve exits through there? None. What comes in through that hole is 11 because it's the spinal accessory nerve, right? And so they always show that one because it's so easy to test because it comes in through the foramen magnum and then goes around that corner and out through the jugular foramen. That's pinnable even if you can't see anything else. A nerve that comes up through the foramen magnum and then leaves through the jugular foramen is always gonna be the accessory nerve. Is that cool? Yeah, thank cool. you. Sweet. So the next one, Doing the board.